not a Gabby Hanna video today. Welcome back to my channel. And if you've never been here before, Ben Shapiro wants to bang his sister. Seriously. There's a, a tweet for that. I tried really hard to debunk this because this really seems like a parody or like it was doctored and I can't find anywhere on the internet that tells me that this is doctored. So I'm left to believe that Ben Shapiro wouldn't mind putting it to his sister. And that's great because it brings us to the topic of today's video. Abigail Shapiro, also known as Classically Abby, here on this dumpster fire we call the internet. And before we get cracking, I want to take a second and thank S. Baker, who I don't know if I know you on other platforms as other things. If I do, please let me know. I want to thank S. Baker for the suggestion of uh, talking about Classically Abby because it's a good one. And I'm actually kind of surprised that I didn't think about it before because... <laughs> I have opinions. If you have anybody that you think I should speak about, anybody you want me to delicately roast as I do, uh, and, you know, spit some truth, saliva. If you want me to talk about anybody, just leave it down there in the comments, not my vagina. Anyway, enough about my vagina. We're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about something a little more classic. <laughs> classic. Classically, Abby rose to fame on Fortune, as all the great inspirational folks do. A video of her was uploaded there. Oh, sake. A video of her. Can you? A video of her. See. A video of her singing opera was uploaded there and a bunch of horny anti-Semites began to sort of lust after her in a really weird way. Apparently, Ben and Abigail Shapiro's cousin is Mara Wilson. Learned that. Thanks, Wikipedia. Sorry, Mara Wilson. Anyhow, Abby moved her shenanigans over to YouTube and she now goes by Classically Abby here on YouTube. She has just over 85K. That means 85 plus thousand people watch her videos on purpose. But before we get to the video of hers that I would like to speak about today, let's take a look at some of Abby's greatest hits and how we got here. Now I jumped around a little bit in her catalog of videos. Some of the titles are just the gist. They may not be the exact title. You'll live. So we'll start at 10 things you should know before becoming a wife. Always puts his clothes next to the hamper, not in it, next to it. And I always laugh about that. He did explain the reason to me, which is that we have two hampers and he never knows which one is white and which one is colors. And sometimes I mix them up because I like to just sort them when I get down to the laundry room. But it's still like, just put it in the hamper. It'll be fine. So funny. It's just it's so funny. You know, when I go to put clothes in a hamper, I can't possibly look into the hamper. It's such a, you know what? It's like something you'd see on Everybody Loves Raymond. Only if like Ray and Deborah were like racist and uh, voted for Trump. <laughs> Ladies, stop hooking up. Maybe you want to have sex because hey, it's fun. You know what's not fun? STDs, pregnancy scares, waking up next to someone you have no emotional connection with and wasting your time. If only there were ways to prevent those pesky STDs and pregnancy scares. This is what these, this is what conservatives think casual sex is. Like, the right way to love your body. Now, when you find something about your body that you really love, the cool thing about that is that you can use your fitness regimen to make it better. So I know that I like my small waist. So doing exercises that bring attention to that is something that I really enjoy doing. An abject snooze fest. The one with the greatest like to dislike ratio is uh, why you should dress modestly. Modesty is dressing in a way that doesn't sexualize your body. I get the appeal of not wanting to dress modestly all the time. Even for those of us who do dress modestly, sometimes it's hard. It's fun to dress in a way that makes you desirable. 
It's fun to be noticed. But the question is, who do you want to be desirable to? And do you want to be noticed for being beautiful or being sexy? Modesty is about treating your body with respect. It's about recognizing reality, that men are visual creatures, not emotional ones. It's about leaving things to the imagination. It's about dressing beautifully and attractively, but not garishly. It's about embracing femininity. It's about lifting off the top of the skull and then just like pouring the bleach right in while you wear 37 trench coats. She made a video about how stoked she was that Amy Coney Barrett was going to be a, a Supreme Court justice. There was the iconic moment in the hearings where she held up a blank notepad because she didn't have any notes in front of her during the entire set of hearings because she didn't need it. She just wanted a blank notepad in case she needed to write something down, but she didn't need a whole notebook of notes in front of her because she was prepared. There was also that iconic moment when she was asked what five freedoms the First Amendment guarantees and she could only remember four. <laughs> she's really honest and she's not going to use her position as a Supreme Court justice for advocacy, but she's going to stand up for what she believes in as an originalist. You know, the funny thing is, is that if she was actually an originalist, she wouldn't be allowed to be a Supreme Court judge. And she also wouldn't be allowed to vote. And neither would you. <laughs> so inspiring. So classic. So fucking confusing. Now her newest and hottest take and pretty hot. It's showing a little ankle. It's called PSA. Men wearing dresses is trash. Just like dirty holiday movies. I didn't watch the second half of the video to get to the dirty holiday movies part. Maybe we'll make that our Christmas special, okay? We're just gonna deal with the first part. And it sounded both riveting and informative. This is part of Abby's attempt at like episodic hodgepodge that she calls the scoop. The scoop. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. I've got mine right here today. Ooh, look at that red Michigan. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna need to update your cup. Harry Styles in a dress on the cover of Vogue. Yeah, that really happened. Um. Okay. As somebody who really values masculinity and finds masculinity very attractive, I don't find Harry Styles in a dress attractive. Um. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't we already have a conversation about dressing modestly so that you're not being sexualized? Have that? To oh, oh, that was when it was happening to women. Okay. So is his was his dress too revealing? for you wasn't modest enough to see I'm trying to follow your dumb double standard um as somebody who loves the fact that my husband is a man and is masculine seeing a man in a dress doesn't really do it for me but I keep getting interrupted by this icy cold take for Harry Styles entire existence is meant to serve you some kind of masculine eye candy people were saying oh my gosh Harry Styles in a dress is just my type he looks so handsome he looks so great no incorrect <laughs> women want men who are going to protect them what you can't strap a gat to your thigh when you wear a dress, Abigail. Women want men who want to support them. Lord knows, I have a closet full of dresses. Maxi dresses, mini dresses, dress, low, midi, you name it. I find it absolutely impossible to support anybody when I'm wearing my dresses. Men don't belong in dresses. In Western culture, it's not a thing. Men don't belong in dresses because men should be men. You guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. A dress will make your penis fall off. Just honestly, the fact that this is an actual opinion that she wants her audience to take seriously and the fact that they do, like the fact that this is a problem at all for anybody ever is stupid. At the end of the day, it's clothes, it's cloth, it's fabric on somebody's body. You think, you think somebody's masculinity is literally defined by the way by the way the fabric on their body is sewn together that is absolutely impossibly fucking stupid and i'm sorry honey but i'm really not going to take you seriously when your husband looks like he dances with animated penguins inside a sidewalk chalk drawing it's just 
classic. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you disliked this video, please feel free to give it a like. Feel free to comment anything you want to see in the future down below or let me know your thoughts on Classically Abby. If there are any other videos or anything you want me to touch on with her, uh, I would be happy to do so. There is an entire catalog of ignorant shit on that woman's YouTube page that I would love to continue to dive into. So if there's anything you want me to go to more in depth, that sentence didn't really make sense, but that's okay. Uh, I think you got the gist. And if not, well, win some, dim some. You know what I mean? Subscribe if you want to. <laughs> I, make, I don't know if I've said this already. I'm tired. I make videos whenever the hell I feel like it. And now, I leave you with the most amount of times that someone has ever said the word masculinity in a video. I'll see you in the next one. Masculinity, masculinity, toxic masculinity, 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 masculinity.